come back to infinitive recourse and the first two part of this course we've discuss how you can register on infinity free platform and also we'll discuss how you can pick your domain name your hosting plan and also create an account right now on this part we're going to talk about how you can log into your control panel and we're going to see have an overview of the control panel and how it looks like and everything you need to know about the control panel or normally referred to as c panel so now let's go right now from the last part this is where we are we're here so now is to not click on control panel and click on it and then to take us directly to our control panel now this is the this is a notice which you're going to see for the first time if you are actually using infinity free for the first time so if you're launching it for the first time you're going to see this big notice say to notify you of changes of service account status changes offers and other important service email we need permission to send you email send you email please click i approve below to allow us alternatively to continue with no email which may cause you to lose your account <coughs> please click add disapprove okay i want to approve this because i want them to send me email as regarding anything relating to my website so i'm going to click i approve <coughs> And the next thing is it's going to take me to my C panel, and that is how it's going to look. Now this C panel is quite different from the normal C panel. Um, this is Affinity Free C panel, and it's a free C panel, so you are not paying for it. So this is how it looks. Now it's actually mature though. It's actually mature. It's most. It's actually close to the main C panel, but just it has some few advertisement on it and that's it so you can also purchase a domain name from your c panel here sorry um let's go back and uh, explain everything for you guys so now preference this is the first part search for a domain name now if you want to add a domain name to your um, c panel like you want to buy a custom domain name you can just buy it from here check if it's available and make your payment now this first part uh, um, update contact email getting started account upgrade and account settings there are not much you can do here because most of the things here are controlled by the infinity free platform so unless you want to make payment and upgrade your plan from this free plan to payment plan but for most people they will likely want to stay here but see they have enough capital to move forward so the next is online platform sorry online file manager now see uh Infinity Free has their own file manager. It's not the local file manager we already know. It's an online file manager you utilize to build website. So if you click on it, you can um, deploy your website. That is if you are deploying an HTML CSS website. This is where you upload it on. So this is where you upload it on. In the htdocs, just like hosting app, you upload it right here. Uh, let me open this. I don't know why this is not opening okay open so this is where you upload your HTML and CSS file to be visible on your website but we're not currently we are not doing HTML and CSS so I'm gonna pass now directory privacy FTP accounts most of these are not literally important the next important thing here is your backup where you can back up your um, website can use your manual backup from here because infinity free are not going to back up your free plan for you so use your manu manual backup now if you're building a website that has a database this is where you can actually control it so you can put your php my admin where you can upload the um file database on um this is your mysql database this is the database you have created and this is your remote mysql database now for the domain this is the add-on domain now if you want to create a subdomain this is where you create a subdomain now add-on domains are literally domain you added to your hosting panel so with this c panel you can purchase another domain name and add to this panel but basically because you are using a free plan you are not permitted to do that but on many c panel you are allowed to do that and you can add an add-on domain a different domain sorry to your domain here now subdomain you can create a subdomain anytime you like pack domain or aliases domain these are domain that you are not using but they are just there and redirect this is where you create redirect um, for your platform or your website or your url depending on whichever you call it where you create redirect and enable them to redirect to other platform 
of your choice so then you have the mail mx entry sft record now most of this thing here to be frank as i said that you might not use them you might not use them and i don't think i have utilized them for since when i've been using um infinity free i don't think i've utilized any of them any of these two so some things should not bother you ip blocker this is if you want to block some people from using your website so if you want to block some people from using your website your some ip maybe hackers or whatever and uh, you can just click on ip blocker and block the ip let's just say some tsl you have to do it to your security your website security how security is and how you can actually check the security of your the security state of your website now site builder these are software that helps you build the website and some of these platforms are via website builder and but for some others you do everything yourself but other php configuration i've not used this um so that plus app installer this is where we are going next so for the site builder you have the website builder that you can just click on create website and it automatically creates a website more of an air form but we're not going to utilize it right now so let's come on in and with the main type tutorials and forum support forum is actually um, the main thing here so the on the right side you have your plans which is the infinity free we are in the free plan the ftp account is one of one it was actually free your soft domain you have unlimited your add-on domain you have one of all limited meaning you can add more add-on domains to here your packed domain you have zero of all limited that's cool your mysql database you have unlimited now i forgot i didn't see anything as regarding the database creation because you have to be able to create your database before you have the mysql that's cool guys that's cool you can put a data base from there so this quota that you are giving for epic to run your website this use space we have not used anything pix free you have um, 4.7 gig i know it's used um, 0% of 59,000 bandwidth we have an unlimited bandwidth i think this is what most hosting sell for um, a certain amount like this free panel is what some people sell it as their premium plan but right here it is given to us for free and i think it's actually a good one and this is the main domain this is the infinity free main domain that manages our website or our domain that is given to us so guys that is everything about the infinity free c panel hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like subscribe follow comment if you have any issue and follow the course so I'll see you on the next part